Mike uh, struggles in protection today. Can't can't keep the quarterback upright. What what do you guys have to do better to keep Ryan Tannehill on his feet? Well, block better, get open. You know, find somebody that, that's open that we can get the ball to. Not going to have all day, especially against the front like this. Talked about it all week. Talked about it being a key. Um, you know, and then they impacted the game, and you know, we didn't we didn't get open quick enough, and we didn't protect you know long enough. Ryan, need to get the ball, rid of the ball quicker on some of those. You know, we'll have to see if anybody's open. You know, maybe. Were they giving you guys like any stunts or blitzes? That sure. Yeah. I mean, they blitzed us, and you know, I mean, they blitzed us, and you know, we we got down the red zone and didn't convert. Only like we didn't move the ball. Uh, we just weren't able to, to finish drives early in the game and, and kept them in it. You know, and then kick three field goals and you know give up big plays on defense. Young football team, give them a reason to go out there and play and you know give them credit and. Hopefully we can play better next week. How do you count for, for some of the big plays they were making it at such a regular clip? At some uh, you know, I mean, guys are there. You know, at least at least we tried to actually cover them this time. Seattle, we um, we chose not even to put a you know guy on them, but you know, we'll try to go make the play when the ball's in the air and see if we can tackle the quarterback and not let him scramble around. You guys are up a touchdown. They have that quick drive. Up how? Disappointing was that for you, and also how, how key do you think that was in terms of momentum? Well, there's a lot of momentum. You know, it means a big play. Normally, drives on defense are are going to be a result of a penalty or a big play, you know, or both. And that was a, a, a you know a large chunk of field position, uh, throwing it up there and, and, and getting a call. How frustrated Mike is it with the problem, the problems you had in protection? How frustrating is that? How much? How we talked cool. about that. You know, what we'll, we'll, we talked about that at the beginning, Jim. We're guys surprised as to how. Much Wilson was able to do off off scram. Surprised? I don't who. I mean, I knew we uh, needed to try to affect him, and you know, we he was athletic and could avoid the rush. And you know, I thought guys were going, and we just didn't you know, couldn't didn't get him down. Didn't get him down. We had some pressures, and uh, he stayed alive and and extended the play and got out on the edge. And you know, no different than the play against Carolina that just went off of, of Corey's finger that looked like the same thing. He was just going out there to his right. This time it was Crowder. And then he hit him this time, and you know Carolina game it, it was a foot overthrown. We got to see Fulton playing in the slot a little bit more. Was that just like because you didn't have? Sure, Jackson, yeah, there was a reason. Yeah, more. there's always a reason that that guys move, and um, you know Chris was unavailable, and so we felt like it was best to try to get Christian Fulton in there. Mike, how important to get things correct? They don't let this turn into to two. Well, that's what this league's about. Whether you win or whether you lose, you know, hopefully we can. Um, you know, get back on the right track. We can get back to work. We're healthy. You know, get healthy. Look like pretty beat up. You know, made about ten trips out there, so we'll see you know, where we are health wise. I'm sure it's not great. How much does it hurt you? You mentioned that I was walking in, missed opportunities early. How much does that hurt you? How much does it maybe kill or any momentum? Well, I mean, when it's a key to the game and it's something that they're really good at, you know, you can flip it on them if you're able to score and. Um, you know, it's usually just one thing down there in the red zone. It's one, one block, one route, making sure guys are spacing are good, you know, finishing a block so that Derek can score on a run. Um, you know, so I know we can do it. It's just early on in the game we weren't able to tonight or today, and um, you know they kept giving us, you know, kicking, making us kick field goals. Were you happy with the week of practice leading into this point? You know, I mean, I don't think that really. I'm never really happy. Joe, I think that you know it's it's practice, right? It's it's going to be mistakes. There's going to be corrections. I thought that there was Friday was good. I'm not. You know, it doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is, is Sunday and what you do and perform on on game day. And we've had weeks that probably practices wasn't great and you won. You said, oh man, we had a great week of practice and got beat. So um, and we have to play better when it counts. And uh, there was a lot of opportunities out there that we left out there. And a coaching and playing perspective, you know, that's just how, that's what happens when you lose. You guys come out juiced enough, and if not, maybe why not? Um, you know, you'll have to help me out, like on like an energy level. And yeah. ex I'm just really looking for execution. You don't get any points for energy uh, or you know, jumping around. You get points for execution and being able to score. So you know, there's a lot of ways that guys get ready to execute. I'm not really sure. What that would mean. And some guys need to have a lot of energy to, to go out there and do their job. Some guys can can go out and, and function, you know, in a, in a different way. So, you know, 
the most important thing is that we're that we're ready to go, that we're prepared, we're focused, um, and then you know, try to execute. You've you referred to that execution day. though, like with the three field goals, you obviously weren't happy. Sure, yeah, that's. I mean, I don't know if that. Hey, you know, when, when you make, you know, when you don't convert in the red zone, you know, it's hard to come running off, you know, with juice as you say. So, what usually leads to, to energy is positive plays, you know, successful plays, um, and we had many of them on both sides, and just not enough there at the end, and um, you know, too many big plays on defense. Mike, to be this banged up four weeks into the season, how concerning is that with a long way to go? Um, I don't, I'm not concerned yet. We'll find somebody. We'll find 22 guys, 11 guys on offense and defense and special teams, and you know, it's all part of it. It's all part of the job, And but I'm not going to sit there and you know, nobody's going to feel sorry for us. Nobody. How much was health, Mike, do you think, a part of the protection issues too? Obviously, Ben goes down, comes back, Taylor comes back. I mean, I, all these demand million excuses, they're all going to be valid, but we're not going to use them. We're going to have to understand that, you know, how, how we have to try to play the game based on who's available and, and how they feel. And, you know, they fight. I mean, guys are fighting, guys are going back in there. You know, I appreciate that. You know, it's just unfortunate that, you know, we suffered some of those things. That's good. Third and one with Derek off the field. Usually you guys don't do that. Why in that? We got a late, uh, yeah, we, we, got, we got a late spot, you know, up, literally from upstairs. You know, we're getting information that that's a first down. You know, it's down in the red zone. We, we did think it was first down. We are trying to go on the ball. And uh, just unfortunate that Brew, um, you know, was a little high on that one. You know, and, but, but you know, we thought that the spot, you know, looking at one of the line judges coming in, you know that he was past the line, and then they and then they move it back, and you're and you're a little hamstrung when you um, get down there under the clock. You know, no different than you know when they stopped it to, to measure or stopped it to, to decide if it was a first down or not. Like they just left the ball in the in the alley, and then just wound the clock and stared at the ball and didn't move it back. So I have to talk to Adrian and, and his his crew. You got the delay with 20 seconds. 20. Didn't have any timeouts left. Yep, it's tough. Not much we can, you know, I mean, other than trying to spot it. They're up there, 11 guys at the line of scrimmage. I'm sure Ryan's doing his best to, to try to get us into a protection that's going to allow him to at least have a chance to, to get the throw off. And, and we got down there underneath, and not, there's nothing that we could do at that point in time. Just, you know, obviously being at your best in the critical situations that we show them every week, and that happens every week in this league, is, is really critical. You, know? you think Bullock just hit it bad? I just missed it. Missed it.